Hello, this is Kat and Gail at Seattle Coffee Gear. Hello, Gail. Hey, Kat. So, um, what are you going to show us? Uh, today we're going from the semi-automatics. I know we've done a lot of videos on the semi-automatics. We're going to feature a super automatic, the Seiko uh, Talia Touch Plus. Okay. Uh, what makes these different than the semi-automatics we've been featuring is they have grinders built right into them. So it grinds the coffee. Okay. And what's this here? That's a bypass doser. So if you don't want to use the high test caffeinated beans in the evening, you want to have a decaf, mm -hmm. you put a scoop of pre-ground decaf down in there, pre-ground, and brew from that instead of brewing from the beans. So okay. bypass. Got it. Cup warmer. Um, this has a touch pad interface. Three different programmable sizes of coffee. Okay. Um, it has a milk island, um, which uh, automatically steams the milk. Okay. Works pretty good, too. We'll show you that a little bit later. Has the SBS system, which puts more pressure on the extraction or less. Uh, toward the right would be more like a ristretto, uh, gives you more creme on the top. Mm -hmm. To the left, be more like regular Americano coffee. Okay. We like the ristretto. Yes, we yeah. do. Uh, okay. Touch pad, up and down. <laughs> Roboto arm. Yeah, Roboto arm. Goes up and down. These that's machines give you the tallest clearance for cups of wow. any of them. I think that's about that. five and a quarter. I'm working off a of memory there on that one. <laughs> um, I love this. You like it? Uh, it's new to me. It's so robotic. Yep. Um, this comes off for cleaning, too. Oh, that's yeah, nice. That's how you clean it. And uh, can you show us, so this is touchpad programming, so can you show mm -hmm. us how you're going to set up for an espresso? You would go to a, to the menu, and you do this in the beginning, and you're probably only going to do it once. Okay. Uh, beverage settings, if I wanted the espresso. Pre-brewing pre strong. Okay. Temperature high. Mm-hmm. Aroma strong, that's more grams of coffee going down to be brewed through. Mm -hmm. And then the coffee volume, just to show you. It's a scale. Nice. Yep. And then you just hit that little save Plus and icon minus. Yep. when you're all done. That's right. Okay. So And you can do that for each one of those three choices on the touchpad. You just set up what your standard is, and then, you know, when you want to brew in the morning, then you just hit one of those three. Correct. One of those three main icons. Right. Okay. And, and then, then steam, too. If you hit that one, you can go between steam and hot water. Okay. the steam arm. That. That's a pretty sturdy steam arm. I like that. I like it too because it swings out so far. Um, okay, let's take a look at uh, where's the water tank and all that jazz. Water reservoir is over here. It's a 57 and a half liter water tank, and you can put in a, a water filter. Okay. And it, but it will function without one, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And over here on the other side is the dregs box where the old coffee goes and the drip tray, and this is the um, fruit unit. Which out for cleaning. Okay. And yeah. how often? I rinse it once a week with hot water. No soap. No soap. Okay. And then descale the machine. It'll prompt you to do it on a regular basis and it depends on how hard your water is. Okay, cool. So um, before we get into making a coffee here, a little latte, um, uh, we ha there's this is the top of the line of the Talea line, correct? That's correct, yeah. Okay. So w here we have the two other guys. What are the differences then between the Talea Touch and then the Ring? which the, is this guy, the and the Giro. Uh, the Ring Plus, uh, it's, the, it's just the touchpad. This okay. basically has the same programmability, except it doesn't have a touchpad. It's an iPod, like an iPod ring. See? Got it. It's choosing the different. So and it's just an interface. Yep. Change. And you choose the uh, how strong you want it by hitting the beans here. I see. Or pre-ground, which is by pastels or which it has. Cool. Okay. And then on the Talia Giro, it does not have any kind of um, interface like that. It, this is how much volume of coffee you're going to get up to eight ounces. But it's pretty lo-fi. Lo-fi. And one bean, two bean, or three bean, if this was on, it would be lit up. I see. And that would be how many grams of coffee you're going to get. Still but it still does have it still does have this the SPS. Yep, Sorry. SPS. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And um, it has the option of putting the uh, Milk Island on it. You'd have to pay extra for that. Yes. Okay. Yep. And then, uh, hopper. but no doser, correct? Like that? No doser. That's shut. You can't. That is shut. Okay. All right. Cool. Yep. So let's go back to the touch and uh, make some coffee. Yeah. So, a couple of shot glasses here. I'll run it up a little bit just to show you. <laughs> and then, uh, this is programmed to put out a double shot.
just doing the grind. Now it's doing the pre-infusion. Okay. Now when you're making this, I know we're kind of doing this a little bit opposite, I guess, because we would probably want to do the milk frothing. I would. First. Yeah. You can't do that simultaneously on this machine. No. Okay. No, you cannot. All right. Cool. Yep. Those look nice. Not too bad, huh? Okay, so now show us uh, how you use a little frother. On the top here, there's two, actually three positions. This is off, this is the milk island, and this is if you were using the steam wand or you wanted to dispense hot water. Okay. These, this does dispense hot water for Americanos or oh, okay. tea. So I'm going to turn this to the milk island. Okay. And now it uh, says it's in place. It's going to start steaming. And after it gets going, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It sends steam up through that arm, and then it comes. The coffee or the milk goes up, steams, and comes back out again. So it's just heating up right now. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. So it's sucking the milk up, and, and then it's aerate, aerating it, and then it. okay. Yeah. And some some milk seem to froth up a little bit more than others. Um, Probably fat content. Yeah, I, for me it seems like the um, whole milk seems, or the two percent seems to work better. Oh, interesting. Wow, it's really expanding in there. Yeah, you, you end up with almost doubling it. So, do you just keep this going for as long as you want it to go, or does it turn off at some point of its own accord? It turns off on its own accord. Okay. And or is that can, something you can... you can turn it off, too. You okay. Can, either way. And then, um, let's see if you can feel a little bit of temperature. Yeah. Um, that's super frothy. Yeah, I'm going to shut it off because I think it's done. Okay. So that's that is hot. So you would put I would if I was making a latte, I would brew my shots right down into the cup I'm gonna drink it out of and then uh pour this Just on. Pour that in. See that turns red when it's not on there? Okay. If it's on there correctly it'll turn green. But cool. It's frothy. There's about this much milk. I can see the line. It's hard to see probably in the camera, but Yeah, that's funny. A lot of so super foamy milk if you like that. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. Is that all there is to it, Gail? That's pretty much it. And, you know, and after so many times of brewing, it's going to tell you that the dregs box is full. There's the shot we just pulled. Cool. It's all steaming. Yep. <laughs> yep. And that, it, it pretty much takes care of itself. And, it, and if it runs out of water, it'll tell you, fill the water tank. Cool. Prompts you to do a lot of things. Doesn't fold laundry. Jerk. Sorry. Doesn't drive your car for you. No. No limo service here. No dog walking. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Well, it does seem pretty headache free though. For but people who love convenience, this could be a great option for them. Well, it does get you going in the morning so you can go do all those other exactly. things. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is that it, Gail? Yep. Catch you later. Thanks. Bye.